Namaste everyone. Welcome to Yoga with Amit. I'm Amit Namde and today we're going to do yoga for nervousness. Let's begin. If you haven't subscribed yet, then subscribe and click on this bell icon and stay tuned. Sit down in comfortable position on your chair, on your bed, mat, on the ground, wherever you are, wherever you feel comfortable or whatever is available to you. Keep your eyes closed and check your posture is nice and straight. Thumb and index together, your palm onto your knees. Close your eyes. And keep sitting in this position for a few seconds, few minutes, whatever is comfortable, whatever is making you feel good. And begin to take some long and deep breathing into your abdomen. Taking long deep breath in and breathe out. Make sure you're breathing into your abdomen and not so much into your chest or you're doing full yogi breathing. So breathing into your abdomen and then chest. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in fully. Breathing out completely. Breathing in fully. Breathing out completely. Breathing in fully. Breathing out completely. Then gently open your eyes. And then stretch your legs out. Then bend one knee at a time. And sit in Vajrasana. Bring your hand onto your knees. Chest nice, straight, your back straight, neck aligned with the back. Close your eyes and relax in Vajrasana. And gently open your eyes. Bring your left hand onto the right knee, right hand on the back, as far as comfortably you can. Then with inhale, you extending your sternum up, extending your thoracic area, and with exhale, twisting towards the right. All the nervous system is situated in your spine. Twisting the spine will help you elevating, releasing any nervousness you're feeling, anxiety, depression will go away. So hold this pose, hold this asana for as long as you comfortably can. And make sure you keep breathing while you're holding the pose, holding the asana. So you're not choking, not holding the breath, just holding the asana. Come back to the center. Inhale. With exhale, twisting to the left side. Eyes closed will help you focusing onto your body and focusing how these asana practice is helping your nervousness to go away. Make you feel uplifted, energized. And the peacefulness comes. Back to the center. We're going to do one more pose, but a little bit different variation 
So drop yourself to the left side, remove your right foot and bring it by the side of the left knee and you're not sitting on the foot anymore so the foot is close to the buttocks and then you hold your right knee with your left hand either this way or this way or this way or this way whichever is easier in your body right so i'm gonna hold this way and then right hand goes onto the back close to the back then inhale again sternal chest up and with exhale twist to the right this time you're gonna press as much as comfortable you can the more you press the more you will go back and the more twist will come onto your spine Keep breathing while you're holding the asana. Back to the center, changing the leg. So remove, bring your right knee by the side of the left button, right left foot by the side of the left right knee. Hold with your right hand, left hand on the back, inhale with exhale twist. Back to the center, back onto your knees. Then open your knees and bring your chest towards the ground, stretching all the way up. Forehead down and relax. This pose will quickly bring you out of nervousness help you uplift it your third eye chakra is getting stimulated which will help your intuition and intelligence to open up Hold this asana for as long as you want, whether 1 minute, 5 minute, 10 minute, up to 30 minutes you can easily hold this pose. The more you hold, the better benefit you will get. Then come back once you're done. Then open your knees and bring your feet away from the buttocks. So you're sitting, your sitting bones are on the ground. After that, you're gonna use your hand, hold your ankle this way, bring your elbow on the ground, both sides. Then make sure you're doing this movement, lifting the hip and bringing the hip back down on the ground so it can neutralize the spine. And then gently, if you can, all the way go down. Once you're down, bring your hand around the neck, head and rest. Resting in this asana also for as long as you can. Make sure if you have knee problem, then skip this pose, doing this pose because this can make your knee having more pain. Once you're done, hold your ankle one more time and push with your elbows and come up. Again, the hip up, sit on the ankles. Open your knee one more time. We're going to do counter stretch, the child pose one more time. So inhale, bringing your chest all the way down. And this time we're gonna do it slightly different. So you're gonna bring your left hand under 
your right hand and extending it as out as comfortably you can and look to the side. And after this, if you can lift this hand up and extend it towards the ceiling, giving nice twist to your spine, stretching your back, back on the ground, the hands, back to the child pose and change the side. So bringing your right hand under the left and extending all the way. Once you come to comfortable in this, bring your hand up and extending it towards the ceiling. Back the hand on the ground and go back into child pose. Rest in the child pose for 5-10 minutes. After 5 or 10 minutes, push your hand onto the ground, lift up, come back and again sit in comfortable position, close your eyes, back, neck and spine straight and focus for a moment onto your body and see how nervousness has left your body. The easiness comes, peacefulness comes. Both mind and body is relaxed. Once you're done, gently open your eyes. And keep doing this exercise to keep the nervousness, depression, anxiety away from your body. So let me know if you have any question, any doubt, anything that you would like to ask me for your personal experience and keep me updated with that. 
and thank you very much for joining me at yoga with amit and i hope to see you in the next video namaste